She's safe. She's on a plane. She's on her way home. Some early morning good news, as WNBA star Brittany Griner has been freed from Russian detention after being detained there since February, locked up for nine months. So I'll get to more details around what happened here, why she was there, the ridiculous charges that she uh, that were put on her, as well as comments from Brittany's wife, uh, Sherelle Griner, and also who was not yet released from Russia, so we'll get to that as well. But first, here is the announcement from President Joe Biden. Moments ago, standing together with her wife, Sherelle, uh, in the Oval Office, I spoke with Brittany Griner. She's safe. She's on a plane. She's on her way home. After months of being unjustly detained in Russia, held under intolerable circumstances, Brittany will soon be back in the arms of her loved ones, and, uh, and she should have been there all along. This is a day we've worked toward for a long time. We never stopped pushing for her release. It took painstaking and intense negotiations, and I want to thank all the hardworking public servants across my administration who worked tirelessly to secure her release. I also want to thank the UAE for helping us facilitate Brittany's return, because that's where she landed. So yes, the actual swap took place in the UAE, so she is currently on her way to uh, the U.S. Now, I'll get some more video from Biden around another case, as well as uh, Brittany's wife here in a second. But first, Griner was in prison, or sent us to prison, for nine years for two vape cartridges that were found in her bags with less than a gram of cannabis oil. Now, I didn't plan this, but these are normally on my desk. Two vape cartridges. <laughs> this this is why she was sentenced to nine years. Now, it's completely legal in Canada, as it is in a lot of the U.S., but just, of course, completely ridiculous. And she has a medical prescription for chronic pain. So it's not even just uh, the way I use it just to enjoy myself, <laughs> just to relax. But she actually has a prescription. She needs it. So a, a very different case, just completely insane. I mean, of course, I've done lots of videos on the insane drug war, but that's a whole other topic. So as part of the prisoner exchange, so of course, this was a prisoner exchange, Biden signed the order for Bout's release, Victor Bout, commuting his 25-year jail term. Bout sold arms to warlords and rogue governments, becoming one of the world's most wanted men. Dubbed the merchant of death for gun running in the years after the fall of the Soviet Union, the Russians' exploits inspired the 2005 Hollywood film Lord of War, which was loosely based on his life. His secretive career was brought to an end by an elaborate U.S. sting in 2008 when he was arrested at a hotel in the Thai capital, Bangkok, to the anger of the Russian government. So... That's who they released. I don't care. Um, are, I'm, I mean, this is really early news right now. I'm, I'm curious if anyone's going to complain about this, that how dare they release this guy for Brittany Griner. Did you even know he was in, like, <laughs> is anyone paying attention? Does anyone even realize he was in a U.S. prison, apart from those that were, you know, closely following this story? I just don't think... Uh, when you when you have the ability to release someone who should be released, then you do it. If it involves a prisoner swap, this guy's going back to Russia. Who cares? Uh, not something that I am at all concerned with. Now let's get to comments from uh, Brittany's wife, Sherelle. So President Biden here taking pictures. This is during their call. Now here are the comments from Sherelle Griner. So over the last nine months, you all have been um, so privy to one of the darkest moments of my life. And so today I'm just standing here um, overwhelmed with emotions. But the most important emotion that I have right now is just sincere gratitude um, for President Biden and his entire administration. BG's not here to say this, but I will gladly speak on her behalf and say that BG and I will remain committed to the work of getting every American home, including Paul, whose family is in our hearts today as we celebrate BG being home. We do understand that there are still people out here who are enduring what I endured the last nine months of missing tremendously their loved ones. So thank you everybody for your support. Um, and today is just a happy day for me and my family. So um, I'm going to smile right now. <laughs> um, thank you. So it must be amazing to have uh, her wife home for the holidays. And at the same time, 
really great of her here to acknowledge Paul Whelan, who Biden did as well. I'll get to his comments. But Paul Whelan, this is who is uh, still in Russia. And this story was actually from just a week ago. Paul Whelan calls home from Russia after more than a week without contact. So he's still there. He's still, you know, going along. Um, four years now he has been there. More details on that here from The Independent. White House officials told CNN on Thursday that their Russian counterparts had refused to include Mr. Whelan, a former U.S. Marine who has spent four years in custody in the deal. Quote, it was a choice to get Britney or nothing, the U.S. official told CNN. In a statement emailed to several news outlets, David Whelan said, quote, I can't even fathom how Paul will feel when he learns. Paul has worked so hard to survive nearly four years of this injustice. And David is Paul Whelan's brother. Now, of course, look, they're not going to try and shit on this news, right? Like, <laughs> they're not going to uh, get angry about Brittany Griner being home. At the same time, you can imagine how they're feeling when they see someone else get released from Russia while uh, their member of the family is still stuck there. Now, in terms of the details around um, Paul Whelan and why he is in uh, uh, detained in Russia... Whelan, a U.S., Irish, British, and Canadian citizen, was detained in, at a Moscow hotel in December 2018 by Russian authorities who alleged he was involved in an intelligence operation. He was sentenced to 16 years in prison on espionage charges he has vehemently denied. Whelan had been carrying out his sentence at a labor camp in Mordovia, an eight-hour drive from Moscow, where he told CNN in June 2021 he spent his days working in a clothing factory that he called a sweatshop. Yeah, I can't even... Imagine uh, what it's like to be in any prison, let alone a Russian prison. But this is what he's currently dealing with. Hopefully, they can figure something out soon. Here are Biden's comments on uh, Paul Whelan. This was not a choice of which American to bring home. We brought home Trevor Reed when we had a chance early this year. Sadly, for totally illegitimate reasons, Russia is treating Paul's case differently than Britney's. And while we have not yet succeeded in securing Paul's release, we are not giving up. We will never give up. So it's good to see President Biden there acknowledge that there is still more to do. He could have just made this to be, you know, out to be a pure positive news item as opposed to bringing up who isn't freed yet. But he acknowledged it. And as they said, it was going to be grinder or nothing. It's hard to know without being in the room, you know, how these negotiations actually go. When uh, Trevor Reed, as Biden brought up there, when he was released, he actually criticized the White House for not doing enough to free Brittany Griner, Paul Whelan from Russia. So he is potentially privy to more information. He talks about here, you know, I guess he, he can't publicly say what he knows, but apparently he thinks they're not doing enough. Again, I don't know. It's hard to know without being in the room and being part of these negotiations, but it's good to see them actually still acknowledge what needs to be done. At the same time, be happy that <laughs> there's someone released that should have been released, that should never have been there. Freaking two vape cartridges, absolutely ridiculous. At least now she is coming home.